Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. It is a vlog of what is in my travel bag as I am going to Kauai, Hawaii. So I'm going to be there for 11 days, so let's go take a peek of what I have in my travel bags. So first thing on my list for my what's in my travel bag is going to be all of my makeup and hair products. As you can see, I have my little, um, like one of those little roll-ups that holds all of your personal travel stuff like your toothbrush, your face products, your hair products and shampoo. And then I have my handy dandy dry shampoo here. My face moisturizer which is by um, Philosophy. Then I have my Clarisonic that I love because I can bring it in my little travel kit. My two hairbrushes, I have a soft hairbrush and my wet hairbrush because I'm going to be in Hawaii. You need something that can detangle really easy. My Sigma makeup brush holder with my makeup brushes in it. I have my makeup bag right here with most of my makeup and then this little bag has some of my face makeup and all of my jewelry. Then I'm bringing my new Hot Tools Deep Waver right here and then I'm bringing a larger curling iron. I'm not bringing a blow dryer um, because I'll either let it dry naturally or I'm just going to borrow my cousins. And Kitty, I think Kitty, she likes what I'm bringing so far. Maybe not. Okay. So to go a little bit more into what is in my little roll up, I like to bring um, my little cottons uh, for your ears, Q-tips, my travel toothbrush. If you've ever seen these little um, like sample sizes of perfumes or even this little one that I got like from Sephora, these are amazing to travel with because they're small, you can bring multiple ones and they're not going to throw them away. I mean how devastating would that be if they're like, oh it's under, it's not, you know, three ounces, you have to throw it away. I would be so sad. So then over here I just have like a body lotion and shower cap because sometimes I don't wash my hair so I just throw one of those on. I have some hair ties and clips in here and there's a pouch inside here that carries some of my face products like my facial scrub, my setting spray, my makeup remover and that type of stuff. And then down here I have my little like travel size hair products. So I have a travel mousse. Um, a serum because I know it's going to be super humid there, a little hairspray, um, a little, it's a 10 because I love this, my travel shampoo which is the um, Redken Color Care and then I just have like a hotel bar of soap. This little Sigma traveling case is what my makeup brushes actually came in and I love this because I can put all my makeup brushes in here that I need and it stays inside this hard case so I don't have to worry about my makeup brushes like bending and getting broken. So I have a number of just kind of like my favorite brushes that I'm bringing. Some of them are Sigma, some of them are um, Real Techniques, I have a few just like random Mac, some Makeup Geek. Um, some NYX ones that I absolutely love. So these are all kind of my like everyday use that I just need to have on hand that are super easy. And then of course I'm bringing my beauty blender but it's not over here right now. Then inside that larger bag that I showed you are some of my palettes and then the rest of my makeup. I'm bringing a lip palette right here that has all of my nudes. I love this palette. I'm not going to be wearing a lot of lipstick or a lot of makeup on this trip. So I'm trying to like keep it condensed. I know I say condensed and of course I have a ton. But then I also have my blush palette that is a mixture of different things. My Lorac Pro because I can't go anywhere without it. My um, The Balm Nude Tude palette because I really love this palette. It's really cute. And then the brow bar to go because I'm going to be doing more of a lighter brow over there. And then I also brought my Balm Voyage. The reason why I brought this is I think it's like the perfect, like I had to. It's a traveling palette. I had to bring it in. It has some fun like brighter colors that I normally wouldn't wear, but it'd be perfect for a tropical vacation. And here are the rest of the products I'm bringing. So I'm bringing my long lasting They're Real. I'm bringing a waterproof mascara by CoverGirl. A few other mascaras, a few lip products, brow products. And I'm bringing some of these more of these paint pots that are the 24 hour waterproof since I will be um, in the water. And then my stay matte because I get super oily and that is one of my favorites. And then I'm also bringing in a few different foundations depending on what I am doing. I just kind of want to have my bases covered. So I'm bringing my powder um, foundations by Frankie Rose, my Revlon 24 hour concealer, my. Um, Laura Mercier under eye setting powder. So just a few different options. I'm trying not to bring too much, 
but you know girls gotta have makeup so in this smaller little bag i have a bunch of my jewelry favorites so i'm just taking a bunch of like my absolute favorites that i know that i could wear with everything so i have my favorite gold earrings some of my favorite twisted silver pieces which is basically almost all the jewelry i'm bringing and then a cute like one just bigger glamier necklace for maybe a night out when we go to a luau that's gonna be so much fun you might see me luauing in this might possibly and then if you guys have never seen this little tip these are actually powder like little powder bottles they're my mom's Mary Kay ones but I use them when I'm traveling to put my smaller jewelry or jewelry that I don't want to like to break um, so I have my smaller earrings my smaller necklaces that are a little bit more fragile that I don't want to get broken or hurt so that's a cool little trip if you don't have one of those big cases just put them in an old powder container so for more casual wear I brought three of my favorite Victoria's Secrets t-shirts that I feel like I could just pair with everything I'm bringing a white and a black um, just like those spaghetti strap undershirts a few of my favorite just kind of little tank tops um, and then I have two crop tops back here and then two of my favorite pair of jeans my skinny jeans and then my like boot cut jeans and then three pairs of shorts my black ones these are actually all from Old Navy because I love their cut because I have a little bit bigger of a booty so these fit so well and I have a black my jean and then my like cargo green shorts and for a little bit more dressy I have this really cute um, shirt that you would have seen in my spring haul that's just like a laced see-through type top I have one of my favorite lucky brand floral print tops this really cute blue striped top from Hollister a tunic that's a really 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 great beach cover-up from Victoria's Secrets and then a little bit of cover-up in case I want to wear that with my bathing suit or if it gets a little bit cooler I'll have something on my shoulders I'm also bringing these two rompers. This black one is from Forever 21. I just got this one. It is so cute. It fits so perfect. It's not too short in the legs and it has a little like button right at the bust part where it keeps it closed or you can open it. So it's good for if you have a larger bust or if you have a smaller bust. And then this one was given to me by my boss. So just two really easy things that I can either throw over a bathing suit or I can put with a pair of heels and look super cute. And I'm also taking this long, super long bohemian white skirt that I got from Express. Um, and then I'm also bringing this really cute dress um, that's perfect for hot weather from Forever 21. And I recently just got both of these as well. So this is what I'm going to be wearing on the plane. I like to wear something a little bit heavier or a little bit like layered. So you can see I'm bringing my jean jacket, which I don't really, that's kind of a larger item. So I don't want to put that in my bag. So I'm just going to wear it onto the plane, which is great because I'm going to layer over this super soft linen flowy top. And then these white linen pants, which are perfect for Hawaii tropical island type weather. Um, and it's super comfy for a plane ride. And then I'm going to be wearing these really easy slip-on sandals for whenever I go through um, the security checkpoint. So this is like a really fun and easy way to take your airport style into a tropical island wear. So when you step off that plane, you're looking perfect. Yes, can I say yes? Maybe not with the jean jacket, but you can put that away. All right, aye, aye, aye. I have quite a few tops, so let's just start at the very top. Actually, I'm gonna start at the bottoms. So I, don't as you can see I only have four pairs of bottoms and I have like one two three wait one two three four five I have ten bathing suit tops no nine bathing suit tops so I kind of have only four bottoms but what I love to do is I love to take like a bottom that can go with that top it can go with that top it can go with that top it can go with that top actually that bottom can go with every single one of these tops so it makes it super easy for having to bring less even though I have too many bathing suits um, so the bottom I have just a plain pair of white bathing suit bottoms from Target and then I have this navy blue with the little stripes from Target then these two which is a coral and then a turquoise those are both from Victoria's Secrets from the tops um, I think let me see I think almost all of these are either Victoria's Secrets or Target so this one is from Victoria's Secrets um, it's just a really nice like full coverage triangle that one's new from Victoria's Secrets actually that was last year this one was last year that's Target that one is Target as well the little ruffle then I have a <laughs> small cute little leopard bathing suit top 
I have more of a bandeau bathing suit top. These are both from Victoria's Secrets. This one right here is a Victoria's Secrets top. It's just plain white. And then this one right here is also Victoria's Secrets. So either Target or Victoria's Secrets are my favorite places to get bathing suits. And these are all the ones I am bringing. Ooh, kitty. So this is my traveling bag. So my like carry on bag right here. It's my Victoria's Secrets black and white bag. And in that I will be carrying some of my makeup because I don't want that to go under under um, and get stowed away and get broken because that would be devastating. But in this bag I'm carrying my like personal belongings that I don't want to be put underneath and crushed or just some of the more expensive items. So I carry my big case with my camera, my big um, Nikon DSLR and it is the, what, what camera do I have? The 3500? Hold on one second. I have, oh the 3200. And then I have my small waterproof camera right there. That is the Nikon Coolpix camera. A small tripod for that as well. I also like to carry a small, like a water bottle. That's a tin. That way you can reuse it. You can use it for while you're hiking and you don't have to buy plastic bottles that are actually bad for you because they emit poisons um, whenever they travel and get heated up and stuff. My Beats headphones that will accompany my iPad, which is not shown here. Um, so I can listen to it on the airplane. And then this little baby right here is the coolest thing ever. Let me just show this to you up close. Here's my best pal at the beach. It is the Global Zero, which I purchased from um, Costco. This is a small solar pad. So I can put this outside. As you can see, there's like tanning lotion all over it because I use it all the time. But you set this up at like a 30 degree angle in the sun and then you hook your phone charger into the back right here and it can charge your cell phone which is amazing for when you go to the beach because you know our iPhones batteries die all the time so this is my little pal and it's pretty small like this is the size of my hand and that's the side of the solar power and it's really narrow and super lightweight so that is one of my little BFFs that I take to the beach with me um, or any place that has sun and that I need to charge my phone if it's possibly gonna die and I don't have access to a charger that plugs into a wall and then also two sweaters this is like a sweatshirt and this is more of like a throw over sweater so that is it for everything that is in my travel bags for vacation I hope that maybe you guys have seen a few tips on how to travel or seen how much stuff that I actually travel with and I'm an overpacker for traveling and that's okay I will see you in my next vlog which is hopefully going to be my vacation vlog that will be going up the week of like the 19th through 23rd so sometime and then so stay tuned and I will see you then aloha from Kauai Hawaii bye guys